hope I wasn't going. <laughs> I was like, Maggie. She's like, save me. Freak. I said, Freak. someone save me. Yeah, yeah, there is no saving you. Chucky will hurt you. Yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah. I thought your head, it might hurt. The kid's with me today. She's stuck with the old man. Oh, hi, everybody. Didn't realize that. And then I get Jason's car home. Oh. Hey, hey, hair, hair in the mouth. Oof, duh. Anyway, it's 80 you can degree. never cut off your beard again. I know, your mom likes it. She doesn't even want me to trim it. Well, you do have like, some extra long hair. Yeah, I get some beard gel in it. It'd probably be down to here on me, yeah. <laughs> Take a straightening iron to it? Yeah, straighten it. <laughs> Yeah, look what I get to put it. up with. <gasps> Dad, then we can braid it. I don't think so. Hey, we'll put it in a little Anyway, and the kid and I are heading out to the farm to do what? I have not a clue. But the mail, my wife got a nice surprise today. I was hoping I'd get some orders for decals or whatever, or even swapping some. Nothing yet. <laughs> wife, <laughs> she got the surprise. Yeah. So, that's going to come in very handy. So. Anyway, we'll get out to the farm and see. Maybe I'll dunk her in the barrel there. And, no, uh, there's rainwater and it has the toes in it. And, uh, oh, get her all nice and wet. <laughs> no. Alright. Well, we figured out something to do. We're going to see what's going on with this power steering. Hopefully. And I get poured in. <laughs> if I can reach it. Okay. My sister's back there too. Uh huh. I'm walking around you. Keep it in. Get pouring, come on. Let's get this thing on the road. Oh, right, she's taking a dump there. I don't know if you're going to hit it or not. Aha, uh -huh, I hit it. Anyway, how much do you want? Well, all that bottle probably. All right, we're gonna see what happens here in a little bit. There wasn't much in there. Just notice on it. I think this hood used to be silver. The engine decal's gone. Make sure the radio's off when you start it. Okay, go ahead and start it and see if it turns. Try turning the steering wheel. Okay. All right, shut her off. What the hell happened here? Huh? See that? Wow. Oh, I bet you I got bent one. That fender got bent there. That's right. That's fine. Okay. Uh, well, we gotta put some more fluid in, Crystal. All right. Here's try number two. Keep turning. Keep going. Okay. No. Uh, uh, anyway. All right. We're going to pick up stuff. I know I spilled. I really can't see where we're losing fluid, so. Hey guys, we'll be back. Well, we get rid of the miss on number three at idle. Going down the road, it's fine. She don't miss or nothing, but when you get down the idle speed, it misses, but uh, power steering. It turns a lot easier. It's just like it's good to go now, so. And she drive, it drives good. This is a must. Say, just a, okay. Yeah, she drives really nice. Like I said, 
just because it's marked prior salvage don't mean nothing. Whoever fixed it, fixed it good. I mean, I'm not touching the stream while it's. It goes pretty straight. Yeah, it does. It's a little easier to turn than yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it was Armstrong steering. So. And it wasn't easy to turn around. Anyway, we're gonna just go a little further. The reason I'm going up and down the road with it is to try and circulate that power steering fluid and get the air out of the system because I see it foamed up on me, so it had air. So right now it seems to be doing good. So, all right. Well, uh, let's see if I can get them recalled. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Still coming up, I moved spark plug wires around because I tested it and it didn't seem like it had the, it wouldn't zero out, it had a one. And I tested another spark plug and it had a three, so I switched number five and number seven plug around, wires around, and it uh, still won't. It ran good for a while, then it's back to messing on number three. So, I think uh, the coil for number three is bad, or I got a bad ignition module. I gotta figure that out. And the power steering pump works, but I got something with a hole in it because when I parked it, a lot of the fluid ran out. So. I guess it's good. And you know, now that, I, now that I think about it, it's not spraying all over the place under the hood. Can't see anything get wet, so it almost tells me that the return hose, the no pressure hose on the power steering, has got a hole in it. Because if it was under pressure, that thing would have sprayed oil all over the place. But otherwise, when it was working, it was working good. So I got a misfire on number three. I've had the plug out, the plug looked like it was firing, and like I said, after I switched the plug wires around first, it seemed to work. Then we went four miles, come back, parked it, and she's sitting there just blah, 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 blah. So, I say either got a bad coil pack, and I would think those things should really be shooting a bright blue. And I really, so maybe I got a bad ignition module under those coil packs too, because it don't really look like she's snapping like it should. Cause like this old dog here, she'll throw a nice blue spark. And these new cars really should be throwing a big blue spark. But uh, the mist comes and goes. And uh, four grand, the rev limiter kicks in. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So. Yeah, I gotta think on this a little bit. Ignition mod. I'll have to do some checking on that, but anyway, the car is running really, really good so far. So, well, I guess uh, until I get under it, see what's going on with the power steering. I guess we won't worry about that. That's a project I'm really, really starting to think about. You know. It would be nice to have the cars up off the ground for me. Um, and I don't have the building height there to go with the uh, above ground hoist in here real well. Eh, I guess I could put a... Well, no, the hoist wouldn't even stand up tall enough in here. Um, you see them at the auto dealers and that? No, old farmer years ago made one too. I'm thinking about doing one of those tilting uh, work benches. You get over center and then it lays down and then drive the car forward and it's all up in the air for you. So, I don't know, I guess I'll have to see. So, all right. Okay. Nice. Hmm. That's not good. Now, there she is. Oh, 
the nice thing about having two cars the same, I stole the coil pack off that. I think that's what it is. Don't look. I liked it on the old days when you could see the burn marks or whatever. The motor's not jumping around now. That's sick. Not shaking near as bad. It might be a coil pack, guys. Before she was just pop, 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 popping. Hmm. All right, got a bad ignition module. I don't know. Yeah, she's starting to bounce. Hey, shut her off, squirrel. All right. Either that or I want to start to wonder about a bad injector. I don't know. I'm kind of lost, so. All right. Well, I don't know what to think now because uh, I took the coil pack from that car, put it in here. Okay, that's running just like it's supposed to. It's not shaking, it's not jumping. So now I'm wondering if I got uh, bad injector, bad ignition module. All right, go ahead and start it up again, Crystal. See, she's back to jumping around. And I guess it could be as simple as a bad plug, too. Hmm. All right, well, I don't know. Look at that, we're riding with the squirrel. Yeah, see, that's squirrel sitting there in the driver's seat. I like driving sister's car. She, she, she wants to steal sister's car. Yep. Hey, right, dude, you got Jump on your truck. Anyway, yep, we're heading to town. I forgot to bring something out that Buddy wants to borrow, and yeah, we had to go back to town, so. <sighs> yeah, and I got that coil pack off that car, so I've either got a bad injector, bad spark plug, or I'm gonna have to do a compression test on that cylinder, on that little motor, and see what's going on. I really hope I don't. It comes and goes, so it's gotta be something simple. Center and source where I got the car from, it could be a bad injector, I guess. I don't know. Because uh, yeah, this thing's running, it's not throw. The only service engine is, and I think we'll get a new gas cap for this too. Uh, let off the brake, you'll be gone by the time you're there. find some more tires for this car. It's still got a little bit of a shake. Actually, I think this car needs a pair of front rotors yet. I gotta do the valve cover gaskets because I washed it all up, you guys know. And uh, it's getting wet. It's not like it was before, but you can tell the valve covers are just slightly sleeping, so. And unfortunately, she'll probably get the car back, and Lord only knows if I'll ever get any money. You should ask Susie Lady if she would like to go with a driver to be in her car. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want her thinking it's done yet. You know, we'll see. We'll see. See, that's how much gas I get to get back to the farm on, too. Yeah. So. All right, well, I don't know if I'm
we'll end up out on the farm or if the wife and I will take off and do something since she got a surprise or what's going to happen here. So, all right, yeah, we'll be back.